How's it going guys? My name is Marco. Welcome to this new video. In this video, I want to make a little vlog, a little update about what is coming, what is happening, because I finished finally university last week. As I told you, I'm, I graduated. So right now I have more time to focus on myself. I have more plans coming on. I have more things that come in next, uh, next year in 2020. I'll be in LA, I'll be probably in Africa for some days. And in this period, I'm barely focusing on saving money, keep going on with my personal growth. So I'm reading books, I'm going on with my, uh, I'm optimizing everything that I have. So basically what I wanted to tell you is I launched my podcast. Now I have a podcast, the Marco Delia podcast. I'll leave the link down in the description here if you want to check it out. Apple accepted my podcast. Let's do something for the light here. Apple accepted my podcast. I'm so happy for that. So right now I have a podcast where I'll post, I think, once or twice per week. Something that is useful. Something so I can finally share also with my voice, not just videos, not just photos, but only also with voice for people that are busy, people that are not, that don't have time to watch my videos. They just simply want to hear me so I can give useful tips, etc. So please subscribe to my podcast if you didn't already and leave a comment or, or leave a five star rating if you like it or not. Sorry for my hair. I just had the shower. I just took a shower. So <laughs> it's incredible. And the second thing, I launched my Patreon. A lot of people ask me, please launch a OnlyFans, launch a, a Patreon. We want, I, we want to um, help you, but we don't know how. I started first with the um, shop on my blog, Leon Fire. But then I thought, okay, why? But why making people pay for something maybe they don't want or they don't need when they can pay just to help me or to have something in, in, um, in return? So now I launched my Patreon account. Uh, you can find it in the description here. It's Marco Delia 97 as always. Basically, what I do in my Patreon, you can simply uh, like give me, I don't know, um, some dollars to just help me for my journey. You know my journey. I always talk about it in my uh, YouTube channel, in my social media. Uh, so it will really help me a lot. And once I reach, I made a goal. I posted a goal on my Patreon once I'll post I receive a certain amount of money every month. I'll quit definitely my job and focus on my career 100%. So I will post there behind the scenes, more content, something extra. So you can give me a little bit of your help to see those behind the scenes, some extras, some things about me, some things about my real life, some not filtered content uh, as I post on my other social media. So that's a very nice thing. And, or also you can pay for some services. For example, I can give you a shout out on my Instagram. I can give you a shout out on my YouTube channel. I can um, uh, give you some counseling for beauty care, for fitness, for fragrances. I can give you my workout plan. I can give you uh, my advice for business, for social media, anything. I made so many offers you can give me and uh, that I can give you something in return. You can also have a chat with me so also if you want to chat with me have a skype for 10 minutes 15 minutes you can do it so i'll leave everything in the description here so if you want to check it out please it will help a lot and by the way i just wanted to end the vlog saying that i'm optimizing my blog leonfire.com i spent so many hours optimizing it because i searched on google how to optimize it with the skillshare which is a website to learn new stuff. And I learned how to optimize and make it faster, make it rank better on Google, etc. And now my blog is getting better and better and faster. And this, this is really cool. And the thing is right now that I'm focusing on my mindset and my personal growth, I'm learning new many things through podcasts and um, books, for example, on the book, uh, Millionaire Fastlane, which I'm reading, I'm learning a couple of really good things. I'm learning how self-awareness is incredible and is really important. So don't stick in with just one thing, but doing what you really like and what you're really good at, not just 
uh, what you love to do. So try whatever it feels right for you. Society is built to make you work on your weaknesses, which in reality you should work on your strengths. So be open to more opportunities as well. You have to try more things as possible. Um, also, if you are between your 20 to 30 years old, that's such an important thing to be risky and go out of your comfort zone. We are used to expect so many things from people, uh, expecting money from your parents, expecting that people will help you in your life, but or like receiving applauses, receiving gifts, receiving awards for not being like good. When in reality, we should be more self-aware. We should be uh, aware that we are not good in something or we are really good at something. So even if you don't like it, even if you, um, you're you successful, um, idea of yourself in your mind wasn't that, you have to start accepting it and working it on it because, you know, if you're good at it and the marketplace, the world will pay you or give you credit for that, then you should work on it. Uh, and then once you'll be successful in that, you can also focus on the things you really love. We need to be self-aware. Even if I wanted to be like the best model in the world, I have not the body to do it. So I think we should work, be self-aware and see what are we are working and see wh where we are not working on. So I think this is a thing that anybody, everybody should be thoughtful about. And the last thing is just to be unique. Uh, don't do something like by copying other people, successful, really, really, really successful people do something, anything in their own way. They don't copy it from others. They just innovate. They do something by themselves. Uh, so even if you are, I don't know, on Instagram, you see, oh my God, this successful page has this kind of theme. I should imitate it to be like him. No, you don't have to imitate anybody. You don't have to copy because if you copy him, uh, you'll be you'll be in a competition with him and being second or third or even 1000 place forever so just be the first innovate and be unique in your own way so i think this is one thing that i'm really focusing on right now and i'm so glad that i found this thing so uh that's it this is my update for today so thank you so much for watching please subscribe to the channel leave a comment subscribe to uh, the podcast and subscribe to my Patreon if you want to. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.